Hey everyone, my name's Mike Sherry and I'm back with you. I've been gone for a week or so, uh, so if you missed me, I apologize. A couple of people said, that, Mike, what happened to your videos? So I'm back, I'm at it. Uh, I might sound a little bit froggy or so. I was on the airplane ride back. I think I caught a cold, so I apologize for that. Uh, but it is kind of an advantage of RVing, you know, you don't get those airplane sicknesses. Uh, where you tend to catch everything because you're in close quarters on those airplanes breathing the same air. So, another push to go camping, fellas. <laughs> gals and gals and fellas. All right, brand new travel trailer, brand new floor plan coming from the top selling manufacturer of RVs in America and the top selling travel trailer brand in America, the Forest River Cherokee. This is their PUP edition, which their PUP is their single axle travel trailers, and the model on this is a 14cc. So this is the first of its kind, uh, weighs under 2,900 pounds. Again, single axle, Forest River Whoop Pup. This is what they would call a 2020 model year. And uh, a lot of stuff on this, very unique. I've never seen a travel trailer personally this short that has this much stuff in it so it's really well designed and the big part about it is it has the rear door so it allows them to do a lot of unique things with the floor plan that you can't have when you have the side entry door so what what it looks like to me when I walk in is a, a truck camper floor plan and I believe that's probably what they modeled this after uh, and they've been building truck campers for years and it talk about maximizing space if you've ever been in one of the truck campers they have to maximize space because the, the camper has to fit in the bed of a pickup truck so Let's take a look at this Wolf Pup and just let me know what you think. I really like it. Again, 2,900 pounds. It has the signature aerodynamic front end, aluminum wrap skin up front there. Of course, the diamond plate rock guard down below here, as you can see. Comes with a full bottle of propane. We do not charge for that here at the dealership, that or the battery that's brand new. A lot of dealerships are charging for what they call prep. So take a look at that when you're shopping around. Uh, you know, the purpose that we do these videos is, uh, is to inform you what's new out in the industry, but also, unfortunately, we have to you of these some of these shady business practices out there in the industry a lot of companies will charge you for prep if you're paying for prep you just got to kind of figure that into the deal to make sure you're getting the best deal for your money uh, full paint on the exterior here uh, the different colors here are all painted metal benefit of that is you don't get a lot of decals which decals might look good for the first year or two but what happens is they tend to shrivel up they tend to fade they tend to fall off and they don't make your camper look good after they do that uh, single axle down here has the radial tires has the nice rim uh, tire pressure monitoring system on both tires there uh, nice setup there Coming back to the rear, uh, we have the entry back here, like I mentioned. We'll go in there in just a second. Also has the two entry more ride step, and they managed to find a spot here for the full size spare tire, which is nice. Uh, on this entry side, I usually call this is your door entry side, but it's not on this camper. Uh, you have your awning up here, it's power awning. We have uh, outside speakers with built in LED lighting. Uh, we have hookups for power. HDMI and your antenna. This does have the free antenna up on the roof uh, and also a spot here to mount your television outside. Comes pre-mounted from the factory so you don't have to put in your own holes on the side of the camper which is nice having it done by the factory. And then up front here this is the space that's underneath that queen bed that I'll show you here in a second. So we're gonna have you know quite a probably five foot deep maybe five foot wide it almost looks like a perfect square here so to give you an idea about the size of the space here nice and spacious uh, i know a lot of companies i've seen out there are putting stabilizing jacks there's stabilizing jacks in all four corners of this trailer so uh, keep that in mind when you're shopping in a lot of the competition uh, led lighting underneath the awning it's the cool blue uh, also if you are a pet owner uh, it has a latch leash latch there for them Okay, let's take a look inside here. Again, this is the all new 2020 14 CC Force River Wolf Pup. All right, kind of has like the shotgun feel to it, uh, the shotgun house feel. Two doors, one to the left, one to the right. This is your split bath. So typically in this side travel trailer, you're gonna have what they call a wet bath. Uh, you do not on this trailer, you have your shower in here. A nice shower, it's got the surround in it and all that. A little bit of a tub down there and then and the door to the, our right, we have 
the stool. A nice, a lot of room. You can actually sit down, close the door behind you. Uh, you're still in that room. Okay. Off to our left, we have the full-size refrigerator. Again, in trailers this size, even truck campers, very rarely do you see the, the, the double-door refrigerator with the freezer and then the refrigerator down below. Uh, decent amount of countertop space. They help amplify it with this cover over the stove top here. And then you have the big uh, single basin stainless steel sink. I like that it's circular. It really kind of adds to the peel of this trailer. Um, up here, we do have, oh, sorry. We do have some cabinet work here. A little bit of space there. And then you have your microwave up top here. Uh, this is going to be a uh, uh, little bit nicer than your typical microwave. This is going to act as your halftime oven as well. And more space down below here. So that's your kitchen. Uh, across from your kitchen is going to be your dinette table. Uh, that does fold down for extra sleeping, so you can sleep up to three in this travel trailer. A uh, big window there. I've got the blind mostly shut, but nice big uh, observation window. So have some power hookups here. Awning controls, light controls. Here's your radio. Uh, this radio does it all. It's got Bluetooth. Uh, it's got HDMI ports. Of course, AM, FM, uh, radio, all on that. More storage spot here for your television again it comes pre-mounted and it comes with the other end of the mount that mounts on your television and then all your various cables your hdmi your antenna cable and your power all is right there uh, coming back has built-in air conditioner up on the roof it's the same size air conditioner that they're putting in 30 foot trailers so then this little 14 footer you probably can you know hang some meat in here if you wanted to it's going to really keep it nice and cool of course it has a furnace as well uh queen bed up front here so that's very nice and unique seven foot wide travel trailer so this trailer is a foot skinnier than your typical trailer uh, that allows it to be towed that much easier typically uh, we're finding our customers buying these wolf pups have smaller tow vehicles smaller SUVs smaller pickup trucks uh, so that makes it nice having the skinnier width because you can see around the trailer better but also because it's gonna pull better as well so that completes this walkthrough. It wasn't very long because not very big. Uh, Forest River Wolf Pup 14cc. Let me know what you think. Uh, you'll be seeing some more videos. I'll try to get another one here this afternoon uh, and maybe a couple more tomorrow. So I got a new phone coming. So I'm excited about that to see what the new lens does. Uh, thanks for watching. Again, uh, purpose of these videos is to inform you what's out in the industry. And also if you're looking or know someone looking to buy an RV, uh, send them our way. We'd love for the opportunity. So I'll post some links below that'll have our information, website, this unit, current pricing on this unit, current availability on this unit, because uh, chances are this particular one probably is going to be sold by the time you see this video, uh, but we very well might have another one in stock or something similar. So take a look there. Thanks for watching.